Listeners and viewers, welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education radio and TV e-learning program designed for our SS3 and other students staying at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. The present administration under the able leadership of His Excellency, Malam Nasur Ahmad El Rufai is positioned as always to ensure that under his leadership, our students are not left behind in all areas of human endeavors, especially education. Kaduna State is the center of learning. Therefore, we want to ensure that our students excel in their forthcoming examinations and beyond. Students and other learners at home are given this opportunity in order to continue learning as education is a continuous process. Different subjects will be taught in this program to assist students to perform excellently in the forthcoming senior school certificates examination being conducted by NECO and WAEC as soon as schools reopen. Teachers making presentations will always provide their names and phone numbers during each presentation and they can be contacted for questions, further explanations and or clarifications. The following numbers and contacts can also be reached for expression of any concern or observation. 090-865-00545 or 080-383-683. 62072. Our website is www.education.kdsg.gov.ng. Our email education at kdsg.gov.ng or education.kdsg at gmail.com. Our YouTube channel Ministry of Education Kaduna State. Our Twitter handle at Kaduna underscore MOE or our Facebook page. Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Stay safe, stay at home, and learn well. Thank you, happy listening, and happy viewing. Good day, learners. You are welcome to another edition of e-learning lesson. Today's subject is agricultural science, and the topic is problems of agricultural development in West Africa. In the previous lesson, we have seen the importance of agriculture as provision of food, provision of shelter, provision of employment, and provision of raw materials for our industries. Aside from all these problems, I mean, farmers encounter a lot of problems that lead to reduction of agricultural production. One of the problems is inadequate land or land tenure system. What are the problems that farmers encounter with these problems? One, land cannot be pledged or sold or used as a collateral by individual. Those that have the means but who are not members of the community find it difficult to get land for farming activities. Mechanized farming cannot be practiced without the permission of the whole community. There is excessive land fragmentation over time. It does not encourage planting of permanent, of permanent crops. What are the solutions to these problems? One, Fertilizers and manure should be used to increase production of crops in the available land. The land use decree of 1978 should be fully implemented to minimize the problems of land tenure system. Farmers should form cooperative society for easy allocation of farmlands. Second problem. Inadequate finance or credit facilities. Most subsistence farmers are poor 
and do not have finance to make purchase of the following. One, land and agricultural tools and machinery. Secondly, improve seeds, fertilizer, and other chemicals. Next is livestock feed and drugs, followed by materials for construction of farmstead or house. Farmers do not have access to loans or credit facilities to expand their farmland. High interest rates charged by banks at short repayable period prevent borrowing by farmers. Farmers who got loans at times divert such loans to other purposes for chieftaincy and marriage ceremonies. What are the solutions to these problems of credit facilities? One, we have agricultural banks like Bank of Agriculture should increase the volume of their loans to farmers. Secondly, farmers should form cooperative society for easy procurement of loans from commercial banks. Lastly, banks should reduce their high interest rates to encourage borrowing of money from banks. The third problem, poor transportation network. Bad roads or total lack of it make distribution of produce to markets very difficult. And this leads to wastage of agricultural produce. Some roads may be rendered useless during the rainy season. We have vehicles that are inadequate because of the high cost of vehicles, the machinery, and also the spare parts. High cost of transportation due to bad roads and inadequate vehicles and other means of transportation. High cost of transport increase farmer cost of production and produce prices. The solution to these problems Construction of new feeder roads to open up the rural areas. That is, a lot of small, small roads has to be constructed in rural areas. Construction of railways to connect rural areas to urban centers. That is, railway lines should be connected from rural areas to urban areas in order to solve the problems of transportation. Provision of vehicles, boats, and trains to facilitate the distribution of farm products. Reduction in transportation costs to make such available to rural farmers. When the transportation cost is being reduced, rural farmers will be able to transport their produce from the farm to the market regular supply of fuel. If the fuel is in abundance or in, I mean, adequate farmers, it will reduce the transportation cost. Rehabilitation of existing damaged roads. If, dam if roads that are damaged are being rehabilitated, it will boost uh, the transportation system. Availability of spare parts at avoidable prices. If spare parts are at avoidable prices by the farmers, it will also reduce the transport cost and also increase the vehicles. Another problem is inadequate farm inputs. Farm inputs like chemicals, fertilizers, tools and implements are grossly inadequate. Available farm inputs are of inferior quality and outdated. Modern farm inputs are not produced in Nigeria. They are rather imported. Farm inputs are expensive. They are expensive to purchase and maintain. Farm inputs, even when they are available, they are not supplied to the farmers at the right time. What are the solutions to these problems? Farmers' inputs, 
like fertilizers, pesticides, feeds and drugs should be made available in adequate quantities to farmers. Government should subsidize the cost of farm inputs like fertilizers, our pesticides, our feeds. They should subsidize their prices. Establishments of tractor hiring units at avoidable cost to the farmers. That is at the price that the farmer will be able to hire these tractors. Establishment of seed services for the production and distribution of improved seed varieties to the farmers. Inadequate basic amenities. Lack of basic amenities like electricity, pipe bone water, and proper health care makes able bodies, men and youths to migrate from rural to urban areas in search of job. Inadequate storage facility to farm produce. Poor processing facilities for farm produce. There is shortage of water for irrigation purpose for all season cropping. Poor health care services reduce the productivity of farmers. Lack of recreational facilities in rural areas. What are the solutions to these problems? Provision of electricity in the rural areas. Provision of clean, portable, and drinkable water. Provision of health care centers in rural areas. Provision of storage and processing facilities to rural farmers. Establishment of dams to facilitate irrigation of agriculture in rural areas. The next problem is poor marketing system. There are no organized marketing channels for farm produce. Lack of proper pricing for agricultural produce. The negative activities of middlemen worsen the marketing of agricultural produce. Poor marketing of produce discourage more production by local farmers. Absence of commodity boards to aid the purchase of farm produce. Inadequates of good roads and storage facilities. What are the problems? I mean, what are the solutions to these problems? Government should buy excess produce from farmers. Government should stabilize price of farm produce in the country. That is, price of commodity should be stabilized in the country. The activities of middlemen who buy produce at a cheaper rate from the farmers and sells at higher prices should be checked. That is, these middlemen, that is the wholesalers and the retailers, they buy this produce at a cheaper rate from the farmers and sell at a high prices to consumers. This activity should be checked properly. Commodity boards should be reestablished to organize the marketing of agricultural produce. That is, the commodity board should be checked properly to organize the activities or to check the activities of this board. The next problem is problems of pests and diseases. Pests and diseases reduce the yield of agricultural produce. They damage our crops and they reduce the market value, they reduce the qualities of 
our produce. They reduce the incomes of the farmers and also reduce the yield of the farmers. Farmers are thereby discouraged from production due to the problems of pests and diseases. What are the solutions to these problems? Insecticides and other chemicals used in the control of pests and diseases should be supplied at subsidized rates. That is, at a cheaper rate to the farmers. Pests and diseases control units or departments should be established to control pests and diseases. Farmers should be trained on easy identification, prevention, and control of pests and diseases. Next is unpredictable climates. This generally discourages serious farming activities. For example, low rainfall, low rainfall leads to poor harvests of crops. Low sunshine intensity reduce, reduces the rate of photosynthesis, which leads to low yield. Also, if there is too low temperature, it does not permit the normal growth of crops. What are the solutions to these problems? We have irrigation practices, which is the artificial supply of water to farmland should be adopted in areas with low rainfall. Water conservation techniques like mulching should also be practiced in order to retain the water in the soil. Planting of cover crops should also be practiced as it helps to conserve and prevent evaporation from the soil. Teaching of peasant farmers on new innovations in agriculture, that is teaching them about the new techniques of farming. Inconsistent government policies on agriculture. Inconsistent government policy on agriculture reduce agricultural development. Most of the agricultural programs are centered on fake city farmers who only collect money and use them for other purposes. That is, money that is meant to be given to the farmers are collected by these fake farmers and they, are div they diverted this money for other purposes aside from agriculture. Most of the farmers do not have access to farm inputs provided through such policy. What are the solutions to this problem? The policies to recognize the true and genuine farmers. That is, the actual farmers that really need this loan all policy on agriculture should be properly implemented. Um, my dear students, before I will give you these assignments, let me go over what we have done for today. We have been talking about problems of agriculture. We said one of the problems is that we have problems of poor marketing system which we said there are no marketing channels for farm produce. There is, prop, I mean, lack of proper pricing of agricultural produce. The negative activities of middle men that was in agricultural marketing produce. The poor marketing produce discourage, discourage more production by local farmers because when they think about the uh, pricing abilities of middlemen, they are discouraged from more production. Absence of commodity board to aid the purchase of farm produce. There should be marketing boards that will help in pricing of this agricultural produce. 
through farmers? What are the solutions to these problems? Government should buy excess produce from farmers. They should stabilize price of farm produce. The middlemen, the activities of middlemen should also be checked because they bought this uh, produce at a cheaper rate from the farmers and they sell them at a higher rate to the consumers. Commodity boards should also be reestablished to help to organize the marketing of agricultural produce. Another problem is problem of pests and diseases. Pests and diseases reduce the yield of agricultural produce. As we all know that pests and diseases damage our crops, reduces the quality of our crops, reduces um, the market values, and also reduces the yield of the farmer and adds to the cost of production. So they reduce the incomes of the farmer and thereby discourage farmer from production and reduces the agricultural production. What are the solutions to this problem? Insecticides and other chemicals should be produced, I mean, should be supplied to farmers at subsidized rates. That is at a lower price. Pest and disease control units and departments should be established to control pests and diseases. Farmers should be trained on easy identification, prevention, and control of diseases and pests. Another problem is unpredictable climates. It discourages serious farming activities. For example, the low temperature, I mean low rainfall, which leads to low harvest and I mean low harvest of crops. Low sunshine intensity that reduces the rate of photosynthesis, which leads to low yield. Also, the high and too low temperature, which does not encourage or uh, reduce the normal growth of crops. What are the solutions to this unpredictable climate? Irrigation practices, which is the artificial supply of water to farmland, should be adopted in area of low rainfall. Water conservation techniques, such as mulching, should be practiced. Planting of cover crops should also be practiced as it helps to conserve and prevent evaporation evaporation of water from the soil. Teaching peasant farmers new innovations in agriculture. Inconsistent government policy on agriculture. Inconsistent policy on agriculture that reduces agricultural development. Most of the agricultural programs are centered on fake farmers who collect money and use them for other purposes. Most of the farmers do not have access to farm inputs provided through this policy. The solution to these problems of unpredictable I mean, uh, policy is that the policy should recognize the true and genuine farmers. The policy should also be properly implemented. My dear students, at this junction, we have come to the end of today's lesson, and I need to leave you with this assignment. Number one assignment is, suggest two possible solutions to each of the following problems of agricultural development in West Africa. One, that's A, inadequate land, B, inadequate finance, C, incidence of diseases. That is, you suggest two possible solutions to these problems. Inadequate land, inadequate finance, and incidence of diseases. Number two questions, list and discuss the factors 
in dairying and cultural development in West Africa under the following headings. A, basic amenities. B, farm inputs. C, unpredictable climates. Again, list and discuss the factors hindering agricultural development in West Africa under the following headings. A, basic amenities. B, farm inputs. C, unpredictable climates. My dear students, we have come to the end of today's lesson. If you have any observation, any question, you can forward it to this line, 080-6829-3928. I take it again, 080-6829-3928. My name remains Sharifa Tyler Abwaka. Stay home, stay safe, keep learning. Thank you.